everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing the UbiMed Life Nest. Now for those of you unfamiliar with the system, it's basically a sleeping system designed um, from about newborn to five months or approximately 20 pounds. Um, this is a giant wedge essentially that fits inside your crib. And I'll show you footage later of how big it actually is in the crib and how Grayson looks in it right now. Mm. But this is a medical sleeping system designed primarily to prevent flathead syndrome, promoting the back is best philosophy, as well as um, kind of helping ease your fears with SIDS. As I said, this sleeping system is suitable from birth until about five months old. Grayson is about, he's just a couple days shy of four months, and he is pretty much outgrown this now. Um, he can maybe sleep in another week or two, but that's about it. It's basically a hammock that your baby lays in. So I'll show you the side view. Um, again, like I said, it is basically a wedge system. It fits on top of your crib. Um, baby's head lays about here, and baby's body is cushioned in here. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but if I press down, it's basically a mesh hammock that the baby sleeps in. Um, it's very flexible, it's not hard, so that way it's going to prevent baby's flat head. Instead of a very hard surface where the baby's head pushes back, this is going to cushion them, and it's going to support them a little bit more when they're sleeping to kind of mimic the womb. Now this system does come with a machine washable removable cover. And we're just going to remove it right here to show you what the underneath, what the bottom of the life nest looks like. So another great feature about the life nest are these vented channels. So from the back you can see that there is this mesh. So when the baby's head is laying on here, there's actually channels from the side right by his head, as well as the bottom to help airflow circulate throughout. So the reason why they have this system is to have unrestricted breathing through the mesh and prevent um, accidental suffocation. It's also going to have unrestricted airflow so that overheating and sweating for your baby are reduced as well. Another benefit to using this life nest, um, since it is that wedge incline, it can help slightly reduce acid reflux in some babies. Um, there's a lot of reviews out there, especially on Amazon, and by a lot I mean like 10. Um, there's some people who say that it does work for the babies for acid reflux, so this is not the number one recommendation for it. You can use a sleep wedge, um, you can also place it at a greater incline, but this is primarily, again, designed to prevent flathead and um, to help ease the parent's mind of SIDS. So I did end up finding this system on ToysRest.com, and it was $150 with shipping, it was about $180 Canadian. It does come with a removable cover. Um, you can buy other colors of removable covers for about $40 each, but I don't find that it's very necessary. Um, if baby spits up on it, you catch it quickly, you can just wipe it down with wet cloth just on the mesh part, and then throw into the wash later on. So we've used this from birth until about four months now for Grayson, and we do, really do like it. Um, especially for my husband and I, we're kind of a bit paranoid, new parents and all that. Um, it does help give us peace of mind for sure. The pros to this, uh, Grayson has very, very slight acid reflux. We find that um, it's not like he's choking or spitting up on anything and then choking on it as he's lying down. So this does help with it slightly. He does stay in this mesh portion very well. He's very comforted. Um, to me, it feels like it would be a lot more comfortable to sleep in it as a baby because your crib is huge and you're just a teeny tiny baby. So this kind of mimics um, not exactly parents holding them, but it is a more secure area for them to sleep in. As for the flathead, I found that it definitely prevents it. Um, the doctors always recommend that you make sure if they're facing their head to the right, then you turn them to the left every so often. We actually forgot about doing that because every checkup that we had with our doctor, um, the head shape was perfect, everything was symmetrical, she had no concerns. Um, I'd like to contribute this a little bit to the life nest because it is such a, a flexible meshing material, it's just kind of cushioning his head. If you guys go to the UbiMed Life Nest website, um, there is a 3D video on it, which definitely shows you exactly what this is meant for and it helps you understand what I'm talking about. Now, other than the price tag on this item, um, I would say that the only con to this that I've found, and that another couple of customers have found, uh, basically when you place your child on this mesh, some people have said that um, the baby doesn't stay on, and, and by the time they go to check on them in the middle of the night, uh, the baby's kind of slid all the way down, and their head's at the bottom of the nest. Now, this only happened to Grayson once, and that was probably just a few days ago, and I do notice that um, the reason why that happened 
one, he's getting too big for it. He is starting to move around a lot more. He is kicking, so that's one contributing factor. Another is the type of material that um, the baby has on when they're sleeping. Uh, with anything like fleece or cotton that has a little bit more grip to the material, uh, he never slid down, but there's this one little grow bag that he was wearing that had kind of like a, a slippery nylon feel to it, and I noticed even when I was watching him move around, just kick very, very slowly, he would slowly start to slide off. So anyways, that's kind of my review on it. Um, keep on watching. In a couple of seconds, I'm going to show you a clip of what Grayson looks like in the life nest now, compared to how big it is in his crib. Um, and again, he's just a few days shy of four months, and then right after that, I'm going to show a picture of what he was like in a newborn, the sizing, um, and and then uh, probably just maybe when he's three months old. So this old. is just a size reference to show you um, how big the life nest is in the crib. We've got all these other little things going on just so the light doesn't get through when he's taking a nap. Um, but that takes up, I would say, three quarters of the crib. And it fits the entire width of it. And that's just a standard crib. Hello, monkey. Hello. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> yes. Um, so Grayson is just a few days shy of being four months old, and as you can tell, he's pretty much grown out of it right now. Um, his head right here is touching, and it really shouldn't be that high, so it's not, it's probably not that comfortable. Um, but his bum is right around the very bottom mark. Lifted him just a little bit so you can see what uh, the size is there. So now at about four months, he's completely taken over that nest. Like I said, the life nest is suitable from about uh, birth to five months or 20 pounds. Grayson's approximately 15 pounds, 15 and a half pounds. Um, hi, monkey. So it looks like he's outgrown it already. If you have a smaller child, they'll probably stay in it for longer. If you look really carefully down here, you can kind of see this is flat. So you can see that the life nest mesh does go down, and it cradles his body very well, so it's supposed to prevent again against uh, that flat hair. So you can see it, uh, it kind of sinks down, so it's a nice little womb-like cushion form. It's, it's probably impossible for them to turn around until they're five months, and by that point they should be out of the life nest anyways. Hey monkey, is that right? You enjoying it? So I hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, I know there's not a lot of reviews out there on this, so if you guys have any questions at all, feel free as always to leave them down below. Um, and as always, feel free to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye! There's one on the bottom of the pail here, and there's another one at the very top when you open up the lid, so I don't know if you can see it here.